Now, I want to spend a little bit of time talking about Portland's protests. It's been pretty quiet lately, don't you think? We, it hasn't been on the news a whole bunch. A lot of different, uh, a lot different from this time last year when we were talking about protests and riots uh, almost every single night for months on end. Well, just because things have settled down in the streets, it doesn't necessarily mean they've settled down in court. They haven't taken a break from prosecuting people who've been charged with these protest related crimes, though. The pandemic has slowed things down pretty significantly. Let's take a look at the numbers. To date, 1,108 arrests stemming from crimes committed at the protests have been referred to the Multnomah County District Attorney. 891 of those have been rejected. Remember, the DA is not prosecuting a lot of lower level protest offenses, and that makes up uh, a lot of those rejected cases. But they are prosecuting 194 protest related cases. 28 cases are pending, and that means the DA's office is looking into those arrests, but they haven't decided whether to pursue charges or not. Lastly, a grand total of nine cases have been resolved. That means only nine people have been convicted of or pleaded guilty to the charges against them. A few weeks ago, that number was just six. So. I guess we're making some progress there, but I know what you're thinking. Nine cases out of more than a thousand arrests, nine. Yeah, uh, the reason for that, according to the DA's office, is that they have a big backlog of cases due to the pandemic, shutting down parts of the court system. And something else to note, these are, uh, these are just protest cases in Multnomah County. There are also a bunch of federal cases to consider too. Now, of those nine resolved cases, I do wanna look at one that just came down that is pretty notable because of both the crime and the punishment. Almost a year ago in June, 2020, a, name, a man named Gavon Streeter Hillerish started a fire at Portland Police Bureau's North Precinct during a protest. He lit this dumpster on fire, then he pushed it against the plywood that was covering the windows of that building. There were 19 people inside at the time. Fortunately, none of them got hurt. Streeter Hillerich pleaded guilty to first degree arson and he got sentenced to five years in prison. And that is way longer than any punishment that we have seen so far. We asked the DA's office about that. They said in part, the reason that the sentence was so long is because he also pleaded guilty to some other crimes not related just to that arson case. So the judge handed down a sentence for all of those charges together. We will continue to keep tabs on the other protest related sentences and keep you up to date on what happens next.